Google thing called Lambda. For Talking to Pluto. That one was interesting, kind of. They uh, have a project called Lambda that does more conversational AI answering. Um, do a little demo. What's it like being thrown through the air? So they talked to a, a Pluto and a paper plane, which I don't know. I guess you're programming AI characteristic for the paper plane, and you have someone asking it questions. It's quite the experience, actually. The wind blowing against you and the trees flying past are quite the sight. You never know where you'll land either. What's the worst place you've ever landed? That would have to be in a puddle. Yeah. I was just barely still intact, so I was stuck there for a few minutes. It was quite annoying. Oh, that sounds awful. Were you able to fly again? Thankfully, I was. I had a few minor injuries to my wing, but you can't really tell unless you know what to look for. What the hell? Conversational AI stuff. Um... So I, I think I landed on a, like a, a video of the CEO who I can't remember the name of, of Google, but shout out his name. Um, and he was talking about how <laughs> the the interviewer was like, what's your, uh, I think they called it a moonshot, but they're like, what's your, uh, what's your guys' moonshot right now? And I think something different from Google would come out of his mouth besides search and they call it search which was interesting too search uh, is the moon shot yeah because he was like i i'm on this every day and i can still see how uh, a lot of people are you know the 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 drawbacks to it um i don't want to find it um uh, kbhd just did a thing with him who marquez bramley just did a thing with sundar pichai that man's yeah, the big Google guy. Big Google boss, man. Yeah, they were like, yo, dude, search can be so much better. And everyone was like, search, bro, the thing we use every day? And Sundar was like, you betcha. You betcha, guys. We're taking more of your data and selling it for pennies on the dollar to make your experience just a little better. I can't find the interview, but it was interesting. The Pluto one was kind of cooler. It was a little more fact based, but this the the I guess the the paper plane kind of showed off, kind of uh more. I guess it's still kind of fact based, but like kind of narrative type of stuff. So like, what does a paper plane do? You know, it goes by trees and stuff. To demonstrate Lambda's abilities, the company showed off videos of two short conversations conducted with a model. Lambda answered questions while pretending to be Pluto, and in the second it was standing for a paper plane. As Pachine noted, the model was able to refer to concrete facts and events through the conversation, like the new Horizons probe that visited Pluto in 2015. <laughs> they, uh, nuts. The, you know, this is actually pretty interesting. And they kind of just put it in, in parentheses here, Verge did. I said, for some strange reason, both Pachai and Lambda Pluto. Pluto erroneously referred to Pluto as a planet. It is, of course, a dwarf planet. And in in the example video for Pluto, it was like it was like people call me a dwarf planet, and that makes me like sad or something. So I don't know if Google has like a a narrative they're trying to paint on Pluto being a planet or what, or they're just trying to show like this is conversational and I'm Pluto. But I thought that was kind of interesting. They prefer the term little planet. <laughs> I, that definitely went through my head as well. I'm, I wonder how many stand-up comedians on the strip of Santa Monica doing that for an open mic. Gross, you're right. I can't, I'm embarrassed <laughs> I even thought of that. Were you about to write it down? No. Damn, this interview was interesting. If it's not... <sighs> Beat off your fucking dick, hilarious. I don't know. I also went in, they had like a, a GitHub of what it was based on. Google AI blog, they were talking about the thing it was 
built on called Transformer, which is a novel neural network architecture for language understanding. And they had a GitHub and they could see people making projects off of it. One dude had a project that did Twitter sentiment based off of like sarcasm and stuff, which is kind of hard to, to do. Mm -hmm. Thought that was interesting. But the other GitHub projects like was just a bunch of code and I didn't have not a look at it. But this man's had a nice little website. Uh, uh, I want to go to their GitHub, dude. Where's their GitHub? GitHub tracks. Deep learning code. Deep learning with clear code and speed by Google. I think this is Google's. No, this isn't Google's. It'd be this. I'm just gonna steal their code, code bro. They want to. It's a collab. Gonna toss in some, <laughs> toss in some product. It's Python and Jupyter Notebook, which I haven't heard of. But Python and Jupyter Notebook is what people are building some joints off of. Run it collab, and these are the people. No, this is Google's collab.research apparently and 26 people used the code or used whatever it's saying this using there was a I was like yeah what's March women's NCAA but I'm, I don't really know how to look at this it's a data set and like files but I guess I don't know 